If you haven't done so already, I strongly recommend you go and watch the film about light meters and how they work, because it's really important you understand that before we plunge into the world of metering modes. Hope you enjoyed that. Now you understand how light meters work and how they think, and the different types of meter as well. We've also looked at mid-grey. Light meters think the entire world is mid-grey. That one in the middle there, halfway between black and white. And it's really crucial you get your head around recognising mid-grey, because until you do, it's going to be very hard for you to effectively use the metering modes on your camera. But how do you go around recognising mid-grey and discarding the colour information when the whole world around us is in glorious colour? Let's just stroll back into the world of 50 years ago and go black and white for a moment. Can you remember what colour they were? Mm. Not that that matters, because we're thinking in tones. Now, do you reckon that's mid-grey? Bit of a no-brainer, really, isn't it? That hasn't really changed since we were in colour. How about that? Too bright. This one here, well, that's close, but I'd say it's a bit darker. This one here, I'm sure, is definitely darker. This one here is lighter. This one here, I'd say again that's close, but I reckon that's a bit darker too. So none of those equate to mid-grey. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? But luckily, we are blessed with an abundant source of mid-grey tone all around us. And it's down here. Green grass, but only the lush green grass. This is about mid-grey. Here we go. That's going to be very close to it, in the lush area here. But don't think you can meter from burnt out, dried grass, like these little scrubby bits down here, because they're much, much lighter than a mid-grey tone. That's not going to work at all. So here's a little exercise to help you understand and learn how to think in monochrome. Let's just go back to colour for a moment. Go out with your camera and take a few pictures. What I want you to do is to take some shots, one in black and white and one in colour. So let's take a shot here of these beach huts. We're just going to quickly shoot that, pop into the menu and go to colour mode because I was in black and white and take the same shot again. Go and buy yourself one of these grey cards like this. Get the beverage of your choice, get yourself comfy somewhere and start comparing the images. Look at the colour image next to the black and white image and have your grey card to hand as well. So you can start looking to see which of these colours or tones represent the grey. I can hear a question. The question is, how do we know if we've got the exposure correct if we don't know how to use the metering modes? It's a vicious circle, isn't it? Watch to the end of the film.